You have announced your uh, relatively long-term midterm plan uh, this month, earlier this month. How are you going to grow the amino science business until the half of your business overall? There are two divisions, the food business and the amino science business. In fiscal 2021, two-thirds of the profits was generated from food and one-third from amino acids. In fiscal 2030, while expanding the food section, we want the amino acids division to grow significantly in order to have the profit for each division to be balanced and distributed equally. I want to make this company one that is neither just a food company nor an amino acid company. As part of the material for supporting data centers, uh, your ABF film is widely used. Uh, how would you like to take it as a business chance and go move forward? We believe that high-performance computing, including ChatGPT, will grow significantly over the medium to long term. To that end, our Ajinomoto build-up film has high market share that has been certified as the de facto standard. Our business scheme allows us to manufacture and meet the needs of our customers without large investment. It will cost about 25 billion yen, but the idea is to make an investment that can firmly meet the demand for high-performance semiconductors. We will keep up with the evolution of that technology. Last year, you announced a 17 billion yen investment into ABF business, and you increased that to 25 billion yen uh, earlier this year. How fast do you think that uh, the needs will catch up with your investment, and whether you are thinking of additional investment in this field? We have built good relationships with customers using high-performance semiconductors. There was a time when we concentrated on one fairly large company, but now we are widely used by a variety of customers, including high-performance chip makers. ABF is used less than 25% in PCs recently, compared to 45% back in 2017. That's because high-performance areas, including server data centers and chat GPT are growing significantly and that's beneficial to us. We will work closely with these companies that excel in high performance computing. We have relationships with various customers not only in Japan but also in Silicon Valley. We have a high-speed development system with our customers and I believe that's one of our strengths. So Ajinomoto has been uh, in China since 1919, uh, has been a long history in the market. Recent retention of an Astellas pharmaceutical company's uh, executive has uh, made a splash in Japan's business uh, uh, community. Uh, what's your take about this incident and what's your company's stance to approach the market? I believe the Chinese market will continue to increase substantially in the future. After the pandemic, Chinese inbound tourists are growing, eating meals and enjoying Japanese culture. I want them to think, oh, I really want to buy these kind of Japanese products in my country. So if we can respond to such demand through exports or through e-commerce, we can think of Japan and East Asia as a single field. I think it's important for us to create a system that allows us to respond appropriately to those Chinese customers.